tense scenes during Liberia's recent elections. Though the vote generally passed off peacefully, it raised fears of a return to violence in a country devastated in the past by years of civil war. In a quiet office block in central Monrovia, a team of IT experts are trying to harness modern technology to provide a clearer picture of any unrest and an early warning system if and when violence occurs. Ushahidi Liberia began in 2010, June 2010. Um, we're here to create maps for organizations that are tracking conflict in the country. It provides the world with a way of seeing what's happening in Liberia according to Liberians from their perspective and in near real time. Ushahidi, meaning testimony in Swahili, is a piece of open source software created by a group of Kenyans in 2008 to help track the violence which erupted after the country's disputed elections. Using emails and texts from witnesses, a map shows up-to-date information on when and where trouble is occurring, allowing humanitarian groups to react more quickly. In Liberia, as well as an election map, there's another to track general incidents of violence or insecurity around the country. John Kammer is one of the site's regular contributors. Many persons are, 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 are accessing the internet every day. So I think it is something very meaningful to help Liberia. Mobile phones are virtually ubiquitous in Liberia, as in much of Africa. But while it is growing in popularity, the same cannot be said of the internet. And the team freely admits the project still has a long way to go. Majority of the population cannot access the internet, so explaining to them sometimes may be a little difficult to understand. However, over the months we have been working, a lot of people now getting adjusted and can easily go to a cafe, an internet cafe, to be able to access our site to be able to get first hand information. A true African technological success story. Versions of Ushahidi now exist in more than 120 countries, mapping everything from art trails to earthquakes. And with internet use on the continent tipped to grow rapidly, Projects such as this could feature increasingly prominently in Africa's political and social landscape.